Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to Fardine Rangers Football Club. Now before the video gets started, we'd like to apologise for not uploading the video last week. We had a training session, no game was played. But we are back in the league fixture this week, playing against James Hay. We played James Hay previously twice this season and we've won both of them. So hopefully we can make it three out of three. Starting lineup for you today is Jason in goal. In defence, you had Tops, Midi, Tyler and Maxi. In midfield was Geordie, John, Nudge, Harry and George Plank. They moved up to left wing and SDL up front. On the bench was a return for Tom Watson, Charlie and also Ryan. As the game got started straight away, they knew that Harry was very strong through the middle. So they made sure that they got their tackles in nice and early. I'm not too sure that Ezra was, you know, happy with this. Also, as Ryan was on the side, he, um, he felt the need to promote Diet Coke. I don't want you to be no slave. I don't want you to work all day. But I want you. I definitely think that Ryan could probably be the next model for Diet Coke. Anyway, so here comes James Hay now, and they come on the first attack. Their player puts it through to their striker, but Tyler was equal to it and puts it out for a corner, but the corner came to nothing. So here comes Fardy now on the attack. John manages to win the ball and gets it to Harry. Harry carries it through and puts it through to Geordie. Geordie one on one with the goalkeeper, but the goalkeeper decides to handle the ball outside the area. Free kick. With our free kick, Topsy stood over it, tried to bend around the wall, but unfortunately went out for a corner. But here comes Fardy once again. The ball comes to John. John's tried to cut inside, but unfortunately couldn't get anywhere. But Geordie manages to get the second ball. Here comes George now. Has a bit of time to think where to go. He manages to keep close control and goes across the line. Plays it inside, but no one's there. The ball comes back to John, but unfortunately couldn't toe poke it away. And it goes out for a throw in. Constantly putting on pressure now. Here comes Geordie. Geordie plays it to George. George flicks it back to Geordie. Geordie couldn't get a shot away, so he holds up the ball. Sees what's available. Tries to play it to SDL, but nothing comes of it. Ball comes to Harry. I'm pretty sure that was a shot, but it falls to George. George, unfortunate there not to put it into the back of the net. And here we come once again. The ball comes to SDL. SDL finds John. John with a great 1-2 of SDL, but he shoots straight away. Unfortunately, goes to the goalkeeper. James Hay now putting on a bit of an attack. He puts it across the box, but their player could not put it away. With all the chances we were having, it was great that we got on the score sheet first. 1-2 there, SDL with Geordie. Geordie manages to find the back post. Puts it away. Brilliant stuff. And it's that man once again getting on the score sheet. With being 1 0 up, that definitely gave us more confidence. So here comes once again Harry with a ball over the top to Geordie. Geordie 1 on 1 with the goalkeeper, but unfortunately could not make it count. But we knew next time that we had a chance, we were going to put it away. John chests it down to Harry. Harry has a bit of time in midfield, carries it round, sees SDL running through the gap, and he's through. Now, can SDL make this count? He manages to dodge one defender and two defenders, but the goalkeeper's equal to it, falls to Geordie though, and as he's got great confidence at the moment, puts it away 2 0 Fardin Rangers. And that was the end of first half. A great way to go in at half time, being 2 0 up. But we were vulnerable because the first corner that James Tay had, they put it in the back of the net, 2-1. Trying to get on the upper foot now, Nadge plays it through to SDL, SDL to Geordie. Geordie with a strike, on target, but the keeper had an easy save. Here comes James Hay now, and I'm not sure you can see much because their linesman's in the way, but you can definitely see that Nadge puts it into the back of his own net. 2-2. Two, two. Very, very unfortunate that. Here comes Jason with a big kick up pitch. Ball falls to SDL. SDL, can he beat the goalkeeper? He can't, but the goalkeeper stuffs it. Comes to SDL, tries to play it across, but the keeper's, you know, a bit lucky with it. And their defender clears the line. 
Great moment this, both Watson brothers coming on the pitch now. It's great to see Charlie back on the pitch and especially seeing Tom come back on the pitch with all these goals. Hopefully he can get us back in front in this game. And Charlie didn't wait. He wanted to get involved straight away and show people that he was meant business. Great tackle there by Charlie. Here comes another chance now for Fardy. Jason with a kick up top. It comes to Geordie. Geordie puts it into the box, but unfortunately no one there. Tom is tripped up, but Geordie with a first time strike. Brilliant curl on that, but unfortunately did not find the back of the net. Another chance now for Fardy and Rangers. Here comes Ryan. Ryan also came on the pitch in the second half. Comes to Nadge. Nadge nice and easy to Harry. Harry with a through ball to Geordie. Geordie trying to tuck it away, but unfortunately could not make anything of it. Now being 2-2, we always knew the next goal was going to be crucial. And unfortunately, the next goal came to James Hay. With their player pointed back post. And it was an easy tap in. 3-2. With the last few minutes left, Valdin trying to put on the pressure to try and equalise, but this made it hard for the defence because Jason came out to get the ball, but unfortunately could not get there. A striker with an easy tap in to make it 4 2. And unfortunate because that's the end of the game, losing 4 2 to James Hay. The league fixture still looks good. We are still top of the league, but. The other teams are catching us up, especially as we have not got any games in hand over them. Next week is a big game. We are in the semi-finals against West Tivoli. Make sure you subscribe and tune in next week.